Hey guys, I'm here at the Zero Motorcycles headquarters in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and today we're going to see how high performance, fun, and green come together. All right, Sam, so to start off with, tell us about the Zero story and what made you guys want to start an electric motorcycle company. So, yeah, Zero was founded in 2007 right here um, in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It was actually founded by a man named Neil Psyche, who was a, a former NASA engineer who was a two-wheel enthusiast. And he really did it because he wanted to rip around on electric motorcycles in his backyard without having his neighbors call the police. <laughs> uh, and from that small garage operation with a rudimentary frame and a very early zero powertrain, the first uh, zero electric motorcycles were born. Amazing. So here at, at California Live, we're all about this green Cali lifestyle. Tell us about Zero's commitment to sustainability in the environment. Yeah, so it's interesting. On my very first day here at the company, I addressed all the employees, and what we talked about was you can be passionate about motorcycles, you can be passionate about power sports, you can be passionate about innovation and changing an entire section of transportation in the world, um, or you can be passionate about conservation, ecology, and the environment. If you aren't passionate about any of that, you're walking into the wrong building every morning. And what we find is that the majority of our employees have a motorcycle helmet on their desks, and they take incredible pride in the fact that while riding the best motorcycles in the world, they get to leave the planet a little bit cleaner than they found. So here at the Zero headquarters, I mean, this is a huge operation. Is. Everything is happening yep. inside there, from concept really to creation yep. out the door. Yep. Tell us about the factory here and what you guys are doing inside. We do everything from the sub-assemblies of the motor and the, and the rear sets and the rear portions of the motorcycle to the frames to vinning frames assembling the bike, putting all the pieces together, doing a dyno test at the end to make sure the bike works the way it's supposed to, putting into crates and sending again like the best electric motorcycles all over the world for people to appreciate and enjoy. So you and I both grew up riding motorcycles. Yep. They've come a long way and I think you know people often associate motorcycles with loud yep. engines and gas and oil and there's like this this nostalgia right amongst enthusiasts. Sure. How do you shift that paradigm towards electric? I think it happens naturally. Our consumers today are early adopters of new technology who want to be a part of a movement that's changing this entire section of what motorcycling is. You've probably got a misconception out there that an electric motorcycle is never going to perform as good as its yeah. gas guzzling cousin. What yeah. do you say to those people and what is the reaction when someone jumps on a zero for the yeah. first time? You take a 50 mile ride on a gas bike and at the end of it your hands are kind of numb and you can feel it. Right. This is the purest connection between the rider and the road that exists and it's the most pure riding experience you can have in the whole world. All you feel is, is the asphalt and the turn that you're making. Well, Sam, all this motorcycle talk is getting me really excited. I think I'm going to go out back and jump on a zero with Dan. Let's get you on a bike, man. All right, let's do it. What's up, buddy? Ross, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Wow, these are awesome. So these are the Zeros we're taking out today. These are. These are the brand new 2022 Zero SRs, and we've what? got miles of redwood forest ready to go ride through. These are gorgeous. These are not your grandmother's motorcycles. Tell me about the emissions on these things versus uh, a gas-guzzling motorcycle or a car. Well, you'd be surprised because Nana doesn't sleep on a fast <laughs> motorcycle, let me tell you. But you're right. These are so much cleaner than a gas motorcycle because, you know, the misconception is that you get a lot of miles per gallon on a motorcycle, so it's got to be clean, right? Wrong. Because it has to be a small space to still be a, you know, fun, quick uh, gas motorcycle, you lose a lot of the things that make car engines clean. So actually, motorcycles on the road are nine times on average dirtier from an emission standpoint than a, a comparable light duty vehicle like a car or truck or SUV. So by riding one of these things, you're punching way out of your weight class from an ecological standpoint. I love it. So going green, going fast, hitting the mountains, let's do it. This ride is we're out here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We're really going fast on these zeros, taking these corners, but it's so quiet you can hear nature all around you. It's amazing. I can guarantee you we're two of the only people in the world right now having a conversation riding motorcycles, man. <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Dan, 
that was amazing. Oh yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Glad we could show you around. Thank you so much.